Welcome back to the channel, Not Your Average Joe's Garage. Hey, I'm Landon. Once again, we're back building this LS motor. Today, we're gonna to be doing a little prep work. We got our heads back. Obviously, took a little longer than expected. He's a one-man show down there in Fullerton, California. Came down with COVID. I'm gonna give him the pass on this one, but uh, today we're gonna to be dropping lifters in some oil. I'm gonna explain what we're doing, why we're doing it. Uh, also got a new little valley cover as you can see we're gonna we're gonna ditch the knock sensors in this motor because it's going in my 68 c10 and uh so before we go not your average joe's garage hey hit like subscribe follow give me a comment whatever you want let's roll we're sitting here on a new valley cover obviously it's polished aluminum uh, you know Probably cheap one made in China, but don't really care. It's just going to cover the valley cover. And I'm going to spray it black anyways. Everything's better in black. Uh, as you can see, we're going to move this aside right now. And we're going to get to these lifters. Summit Racing lifters. Now let's tear into it. One-handed, one on the camera. Let's dump some of these out. Obviously. I'm gonna say I'm a big fan of Summit's products. You know, when building a low buck motor, Summit's kind of the way to go. It's quality product at a added, added value price. So today what we're gonna be doing, we're today's episodes not sponsored by Royal Purple or Lucas Oil. We're gonna be using this Lucas Oil zinc additive. You can see it's TB Zinc Plus. Basically, it's an engine break-in oil additive. Guys, this oil, I'm gonna tell you, you don't put in top of your motor when you're gonna break it in. You mix it in, and everything you do when it comes to when building your motor. Went in the kitchen, borrowed the wife's nice little pan here. We're gonna drop these in nice and soft, obviously. We don't wanna mar these things up at all. Now, I'm gonna add this Lucas TB Zinc Plus. It's basically a break-in additive. When, it, when you're breaking your motor in, obviously you want the added zinc. I just put, spread it down like I'm making cookies. Because when I go to mix with my Royal Purple, once again, episode's not sponsored by Royal Purple. guys now that they are soaking you can kind of see the bubbles popping out those are the lifters filling up with oil I'll give it a little shake to take that additive that we added in that zinc additive to that royal purple and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the clock right here at 24 hours and just let them soak like always I don't ever use the gaskets that uh, I'm gonna say China gives me. I use a, the trusty Felpro. So, Felpro I always put on dry most of the time. So once again, I'll, I'll show the link in the description of where I got this valley cover. Let's uh, drop some hardware in, get it centered up. So now I'm gonna grab my trusty torque wrench here. Uh, basically, GM calls for 18 foot-pounds. Obviously, China doesn't come with instructions. So we're gonna stick with uh, what GM says, 18 foot-pounds. I'm gonna run, just kind of run these down. I'm gonna start in the center and work my way out.
All right, there you guys have it. Covers on, straight from Amazon, I think. Over there, basically, we're sitting on uh, 24 hours, clock still running. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow, and uh, we'll be dropping those heads on right there. Yeah. All right, guys, like, subscribe, comment, follow. You know, let's do, uh, let's have another great episode tomorrow.